We now turn to a life story that proves second chances make all the difference. Restaurant owner and chef Wu Junjie was convicted of assault as a teenager after getting caught up in gang violence. He was sent to study abroad and suffered bullying and racial discrimination. But after falling in love with food, he returned to Taiwan to found a thriving business. A five ounce fillet steak is grilled over charcoal. It comes off the flame with satisfying charred grill marks, then sits for 10 minutes so heat can saturate the whole fillet. The steakhouse sells 400 of these fillet steaks a month. You might never guess the chef, 37 year old Wu Junjie, was convicted of violent crime in his youth. One evening, another student suddenly called me up and said, Hey, a gang beat me up. We were kids then, and we thought brotherhood was everything. So we decided to go over there and back him up. And what happened was my friend grabbed someone from behind and told me to hit his hands. So I grabbed a big lock and smashed it against a guy's hand and broke his hand. The fight sounds like something from a low-budget crime movie, but the incident was a tragedy, not just for the victim, but also for Wu's parents. I was charged with assault. The day I went to court, my guardians had to be there, so that was my parents. And that meant my mom had to go to court on her birthday, which she was pretty upset about. Wu's parents then sent him to the U.S. to get him into a different social circle. While overseas, Wu experienced being bullied for the first time. People with yellow skin got bullied pretty bad. At lunch, people would blackmail me. Someone would grab me and take me to a spot called Asian Gate, which meant the garbage site. After I had bullied other people, then when people bullied me, how did I feel? Actually, I felt quite a strong sense of guilt. Studying abroad did little to interest Wu in academics. But in his first year at university, he had a life-changing experience. He ate an unforgettable meal in a steakhouse and decided to enter the restaurant industry. On my birthday, I went to a steakhouse in Beverly Hills. The steak I had left such a strong impression on me. It was unlike any steak I'd ever eaten in my life. It was really burned on the surface, almost black, but so tender deep inside. I thought, I want to make steaks like this. Wu started visiting farms to pick out the best meat, continually experimenting on his quest to recreate that perfect steak. Returning to Taiwan, he got a 2 million NT loan from a youth startup scheme and opened his first steakhouse. After its success, he went on to open seven other ventures, including a Japanese barbecue joint, a wedding reception venue, and a bar. Overall turnover is now 200 million NT. Thank goodness mom and dad had a bit of patience with their unruly son.